I mean, I guess what, the board had one question is that the um, is that the role of the treasurer is very important, as you conceded. And isn't it true that the the, can, the treasurer's actions are indistinguishable under the law from the campaign? Well, Amy, I understand in the big picture, the treasurer is an agent. But if you look at the fact of, of the count on which she was convicted. Mm -hmm. Was she really the new campaign's agent at midnight when she's chatting with her former boyfriend? This chat includes some personal things and, oh, I just had a few drinks, and oh, by the way, can I use your credit card? Now, you know, there, there's such a thing as, uh, I don't want to get a little old agency, I've been taking that for 40 some years in law school, but I do understand there are agents who, when they're acting within the scope of their agency, um, you know, the principal can be responsible or is responsible. Uh, I suggest to you there are also times when agents are acting in the open areas, they're acting outside of their mandate. And, you know, this is a rather complicated personal situation for a young lady talking to a, a young boyfriend. I don't think uh, you can charge John Liu or his campaign with her interactions in a personal relationship, albeit the question of his credit card came up. That's my answer to that. Mr. Connor, isn't it true, though, that there was other evidence relating to the treasurer, apart from what you said? I mean, isn't the board allowed to consider all the evidence that was received at the trial um, and not just that one point that you've referred to? Let, let, let me address that. Um, if you're suggesting that you can look at the count she was indicted on, but the jury found not guilty. I suggest that's wholly inappropriate in this country to do that. There was testimony about other three businessmen testified, as I said before. They reimbursed some of their people. They, uh, they all were refunded by the campaign as soon as we got the transcript and saw that. They, they testified under oath under, with immunity. Every single one of them, when asked, did you tell anybody in the campaign about this? No. Did anybody in the campaign know you were reimbursing these employees? No. Did the principal sponsor of the fundraiser, uh, you know, it's public, I guess, of Mr. Wu, who, who's a big, a big, big businessman in the Chinese American community, did you tell him? Oh, no. So every single one of these business people that were in the construction related to small businesses that owned them, said, no, we didn't tell anybody. So how can the campaign be responsible? These contributors came to a fundraiser and wrote checks. They, they, they produced checks. Um, I suggest that you can't set up a lie detector uh, at a fundraiser table and, and give everybody a polygraph coming in uh, when they come in with a check and they sign a contribution card. Albeit they were signing a contribution card in English, and I'm not sure those employees of those companies um, were at any facility in written English. But I, I think that's, that's the, the, there was not any evidence that directly pointed to, to, to the treasurer or anybody else in the campaign was being involved. There were claims by the federal government, the jury rejected it, not guilty. Conspiracy, enter a conspiracy to get to the fraud, the city of New York, by getting matching funds. Not guilty, and I suggest it. Just as I can't tell you she was innocent of the thing involving her boyfriend because we have to respect the jury verdict until some appeals court overturns it. I don't think you can look at evidence and draw conclusions about it differently than the jury. Thank you. Okay. I'm now willing to entertain a motion to go into executive session. So moved. 